plumes of Vulcans taking off. They just bash the button on the bottom of the undercarriage leg, get all engines started. By the time the crew are in, all the systems are up and running, they jump in and take off on a stream takeoff and just deafen the entire world. Well, XH-558 is known flies now as a result of a dedicated band of enthusiasts and restorers at a cost of over six million pounds and 14 years of determined effort. The first time an aircraft of such complexity as we return to flight and meeting all the very recent and stringent aviation standards of today. There's the bomb bay door open and it could carry some serious uh, bombing materials. Well, of course it's an old design. The Vulcan design goes back to 1948. Designed by the same man who designed the Lancaster bomber, Roy Chadwick. The prototype Vulcan, the Avro 698 tailless Delta, flew first flew in 1952. Within 10 hours it was clearly as manoeuvrable as a fighter and following year it was rolled by its test pilots, even at the Farnborough Air Show. The famous Roly Falk rolling the, uh, the Vulcan at Farnborough. There was a rumour on its last service display with this aeroplane, the test for the pilot was going to roll it again. And it was understand he was taken to one side and advised it was not a sensible thing to do. There, the bomb door is closing now. As you can imagine, it takes an enormous...